Hey guys, Bill here from jailbreakitouch.com. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your first generation iPod Touch firmware 2.2. A couple things we have to know here before we start. Uh, make sure you download the latest uh, version of QuickPone. You can visit jailbreakitouch.com or look in the sidebar and get the link there. You also want to make sure that your iTunes has been updated to the latest version. So you can click on help, check for updates. They'll tell you that 8.02 is the current version. And you also need to make sure that your iPod Touch first generation has been updated to 2.2. So QuickPone does not take your firmware and create the whole new thing, do a full on restore. All it does is take the pre-existing firmware that is on your iPod Touch and jailbreak it that way. And also make sure that your iPod Touch is on, um, is on Never to Lock. What you can do for that, you can just click on Settings, click on General, and you see Auto Lock here is set to Never. All right, so what we do is we open up QuickPone, uh, make sure everything's plugged in. You're going to click on Next. It'll shut down your iTunes. It automatically detects that 2.2 is on there. Now what it's doing is looking for it. And what it should do is it should give a check mark to let me know that it has found it. And what it's doing is it is going to the Apple folder just to make sure that it's there. In just case you're wondering for the Apple folder where all your firmware is, uh, this is for Windows. Click on My Computer. Click on C Drive, Documents and Settings, Your Name, Application Data, Apple Computer, iTunes, iPod Software Updates, and you'll see all the updates that, uh, that you've downloaded. Alright, so from there, click on Next. You want to add Cydia, add installer, replace the boot logo, so instead of the Apple, it will give you a pineapple. Cydia is awesome for installing applications, and I don't mean to give a really good plug to Cydia, but Cydia by far is the best one out there. And installer, well, you need some work to catch up. Alright, so click on the arrow, ensure that it's connected via USB before connecting. So what we're going to do, we're going to put it in recovery mode. So it's going to tell us what we have to do. So you got to hold the home button down for five seconds. That's your middle button. Then we have to hold down the home button and power button together. Do not let go of the home button. And then we need to release the power button at the top and hold on to the home button for at least 25 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever it's up to. And then once it does that, so once it says waiting while your iPod is prepared for jailbreaking, we can just let it go. And you'll see that your screen will turn white on your iPod Touch. So if you guys want, uh, while this is doing this, uh, don't forget to stop by jailbreakitouch.com. You don't have to sign up or anything. The only time you need to sign up is if you want to ask any questions in the form board. Now, if you feel like donating, I've, I've set up a new uh, new donations page for, uh, it's not for hosting or anything like that, it is for ice climbing gear. I'm trying to get money for my new ice climbing, uh, ice climbing gear for this season. So feel free to contribute to that. They're a great site, a lot of great moderators. It's pretty cool. Alright. Look at this. So what it's doing now, if you take a look at the iPod Touch, you'll see it says downloading jailbreak data. So it's just finishing up here.
we like to let it run from start to finish. Uh, the only time we don't let our videos run start to finish is if we're doing a restore through iTunes um, because it takes a while. So once again, make sure that you have the latest version of QuickPwn, the latest version of iTunes, that your iPod Touch is upgraded to the latest version of the firmware 2.2 for first generation only. And most importantly, visit jailbreakitouch.com. So we're almost done here. So it's going to be boot. There's the new boot logo, which is your pineapple. Um, so you guys know this is this is the first time I've actually done this uh, for 2.2. So I just plugged it in, downloaded it, ran it, and this is the result. As you can see, there's my Cydia, there's my installer, which was not there before when I when I restored it to 2.2. I did a straight factory restall. I can see Cydia is there, like I said. Um, all my settings have kept. And what I'll do is I'll just go to my settings, click on general, uh, click on about, and you'll see that my version here is 2.2. 5G77. So that's it. Visit jailbreakitouch.com. If you have any questions, just sign up, post them on the forum board, and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.